everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be about polyfragmentation. Most systems have an average of 10 to 20 alters with as few as two, and some systems have up to hundreds and thousands of alters. Polyfragmented DID and OSDD systems are systems that have 100 or more alters. So a normal DID or OSDD system would have less than 100. The highest documented number of alters is 2,500. Polyfragmentation is also a term used to describe systems who have systems within their systems, so alters who have DID or OSDD. Technically, this is not the right use of the term polyfragmented, but people use it anyways, and it's good to know that. <laughs> and then, quick trigger warning, I'm going to be mentioning abuse um, very briefly, and I will put the time up on the screen right here for the time that it's safe to skip to. Such a large number of alters in a system is often caused by cult or ritual abuse, or abuse that extends over a long period of time, often by multiple abusers. Most of the time, polyfragmented systems grew up in a very unsafe and chaotic house or environment. This doesn't necessarily mean that polyfragmented systems have endured more or worse abuse than standard DID systems. Something that would extremely traumatize one child might not even affect another. In polyfragmented systems, one alter may take on one trauma, or just a single part of that one trauma. For example, there could be five alters that take on one trauma. They each hold a tiny part of that, a single emotion or thought or part of sensory information that was processed or not processed during that trauma. A larger number of alters in a system often means that the signs of switching are much more covert, as well as alters themselves being more covert. This just means alters that are less obvious in their differences, so they might be mistaken for each other very easily. Because of the covert nature of most polyfragmented systems, it's a lot harder for these systems to be diagnosed. Before DID was renamed and was called Multiple Personality Disorder, polyfragmented systems were referred to as Complex MPD. Some examples of polyfragmented systems that you can go check out for yourself are Acrylic and Ether, which you can find on YouTube and Instagram, the Starlight Orchestra system, which you can find on Instagram, and the Blue Flame system, who you can also find on Instagram. Multiplicity and Me are not a polyfragmented system, but they did make a fantastic video on polyfragmentation, which I'm going to link in the description below, so you can check that out. So, since there's not a lot of information on polyfragmented systems that we could find online, we decided to interview a couple systems and see what they had to say about it, and uh, what information they wanted the internet to know about polyfragmented systems. We talked to three, and uh, one of them did not want to be in the video, but the other two we did get permission from to mention them in the video, and um, we got quotes from them that they were willing to let us read. So rather than just convey the message that they wanted to give in our own words, I'm going to directly read you the quote just so that there's no miscommunication and uh, we can give exact credit. So we asked both of these systems what they wanted the world to know about polyfragmented systems and if they could say one thing to the internet, to the world, what would they say? So the Starlight Orchestra system, which we mentioned earlier, said, Alters generally aren't as distinct because of the sheer amount of alters in a polyfrag system that's too much for the brain to keep everyone super distinct. There's going to be a lot of overlap with roles, accents, ages, interests, skills, etc. While even small systems don't need distinct alters, it's definitely extremely common in polyfrag systems. This is also because it's common for most alters to be fragments with singular emotions, memories, and purposes. They often don't have any interests, or not many. So it's pretty common for the majority to be fragments rather than more developed alters, and this can add to the lack of distinction. Polyfrag systems split much more easily. Small events, whether traumatic or not, can cause a split, and it's common for more than one alter to split at a time. We tend to split in groups of two to five to hold different emotions, perspectives, and methods of dealing with something. This means that our numbers can grow rapidly, and that it's very common to discover groups of alters rather than single alters. This includes alters coming out of dormancy. There will usually be a group relating to a specific trauma or time period rather than one coming out at a time. Polyfrag systems are so sensitive to splitting that while they haven't reached full stabilization, which is hard to achieve for any traumatized person, it can be an automatic response to any new, uncomfortable, stressful, or traumatic experience. For example, we split because we started hormones. Despite it being an exciting thing that we wanted, it was new, and therefore we didn't have anyone who dealt with that niche thing. Alters in polyfrag systems often have hyper-specific roles because of these things too. So many polyfragmented systems will have multiple people with the same role from the same event or time period because they hold very specific parts about what created them. So there could be five or more trauma holders from one event, but they might cope differently or hold very specific memories of small parts of the trauma rather than the whole trauma. Everything gets broken down much more into oddly specific boxes. That was from the Starlight Orchestra system. Thank you very much, everyone. And then from the Blue Flame system, we have Numbers seem to go quick with us. Stressful to know you were once a small system, but now that there's hundreds. 
We still have yet to go through the process on understanding how we fell under the polyfragmented category while others have not. That's the confusing part for us. Also, we have grown numb to new splits. Of course, it is still concerning to any system when there was a new altar because that means a lot of stress, but we have become numb to that. Negatively, we have become like, oh, new altar? Okay, whatever. Polyfragmented systems may also feel invalid. I know we have. Because of the count, polyfragmented systems usually have 100 plus, while like other systems that have spoken about being a system, like bigger known DID or OSDD YouTubers, have around 10 to 20. So that was from the Blue Flame system. Thank you very much. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much to the two systems who helped us with that information and were willing to do interviews with us for that. If you learned something new or enjoyed today's video at all, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks so much. Bye, everybody. Polyfragmented DI... Most of the time... A very chaotic and unsafe hound. <laughs> and I hope you all are taking care of yourselves and being safe and taking uh, care of yourselves. I already said that. Something that extru- <laughs> Whereas in most standard DID systems, a- an, Oh my god. This just means alters that are less obvious in their differences, so they ought- <laughs> Before DID was renamed and was called personal- <laughs> Bruh. Because of the co- ah. <laughs> Oh my god. And was referred to as multiple- <laughs> You can go do your own research on or interact with- <laughs>